The theater was built in 13 BC by Lucius Cornelius Balbus, an aide to Julius Caesar, to celebrate a great Roman victory. It was the third largest theater in Rome. But after 2,000 years of constant building and rebuilding, ancient Rome's version of Broadway was buried by the modern city. Let's go in. So this is the, the current digging is being done in this part? Yes. This is an incredible opportunity when you think about it. We're dropping down in the middle of an active archaeological dig. And they have basically cut away a cross-section of the history of Rome. Renaissance, medieval, ancient Rome. Go too far out there, you can catch a bus in modern Rome. It's all right here. The Crypt of Balbi and surrounding neighborhood were discovered in the courtyard of a medieval villa. When archaeologists, including Patrizia, began to dig here in 1983, they unearthed a huge portion of the ancient city. In ancient Rome, this area would have been filled with massive civic buildings, including a wheat distribution center, where the citizens of Rome could get free wheat once a month. It was all part of the empire's plan to keep its people under total control fat and happy. The Romans had a very interesting uh, expression, panem et circenses, which means bread and circuses. Basically, they fed the people and entertained them. As the Roman world grew more violent with constant wars and revolts, food distribution and theaters like this one would no longer keep the people happy. So the empire had to amp up their entertainment with unbridled violence. And gladiator games were the perfect way to satisfy the public's bloodlust. They were financed by senators, emperors, and wealthy Romans looking to curry favor with the public. Emperor Caesar owned so many gladiators that the Senate had to limit the amount of money any one person could spend on games, fearing such a large, well-equipped private army could cause a revolt.